had some big wins in between as well. A massive game against Denver. Great win in Phoenix that was shorthanded. Shamanich inside lays it in for the game's first bucket. Zoo has played maybe some of his best basketball as a Clipper, and that says a lot over the past six games with six straight double doubles. Shamanich inside, under barrels off the window, rebound, knocked out of bounds. Lies that buzzard's luck that has happened that was out of everyone's control. Yep. Keontae George to Taylor Hendricks, the rookie misfires. Shamanich inside, counted, and a foul. That in theory was desperate to win. So we didn't exactly. feel that urgency until maybe the six minute mark of the fourth quarter. As a Living it and doing it, and everyone has. I mean, even during the stretch, you know, James's usage rate was the lowest it was since, you know, his first two years at Oklahoma City. Kawhi, same thing. Not, not as many pick and rolls. Five to 13 in this quarter. Only one for six for behind three. Well, I give a ton of credit to Utah. They are playing hard. They are playing with confidence. A Phoenix team that needed the win to kind of stay in the hunt for a top six spot in the Western Conference. But some wild things happening tonight, maybe just from afar. <laughs> Shamanich for three. Oh, Lofton with a nice rebound inside, extended possession. He's absolutely crazy, some of these first-round matchups. And, you know, the East is a little, if it stays like it is, how about Milwaukee, Philly, maybe in the, in the first round? He's, the coffee is still brewing over the non-class class call <laughs> You better be careful. And in Boston is flying high in downtown Los Angeles. Samanich gives it to Lofton Jr., knocks it down. It's a four-point lead for Utah. Five minutes to play.